hi guys welcome to my channel my name's Teresa and I'm the car boot crafter and you may recall in my last video I showed you how to make these that I was making these little box gift boxes that I was making for the local nursery where my granddaughters go um, so I took the first lot down to them and um, they've asked <laughs> a bit cheeky but they've asked if I had any ideas about what they could do um, as a um, a card for the children that are leaving that could also have a little gift card in. So, um, as always, I've talked myself into the job <laughs> and this is what, talking with them, I, this is what I've come up with. So, again, it's a little mortarboard with a tassel on the side and then you open it up like that. And then you've got a little pocket, which is where the voucher's going to go. And then they asked as well if there was plenty of space for the teachers to all write um, a, a little message to each of the children. So, which is why I came up rather than a normal card. I thought that would be uh, that would be nice. I did one similar to uh, for a friend who was getting married, a colleague at work was getting married and we all there wasn't enough room on the card um that um that had been bought so they asked if i had any ideas for something nice to write messages on and i did a similar one to this so um let me just show you um how i've done it so let's pop that to one side very similar to the the boxes uh, in some respects so um, I've started off with a, a piece of white card that is uh, 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters and I'm just going to fold that in half along the one side being very careful to line it all up so you like if you're very careful when you line it all up then um, it, it, you don't get the paper fighting you when you come to create that that fold so that's that way open it up and i'm going to fold it again that way um, just so that we've got that uh, folded in half both ways like that okay and once i've done that there they're folded two valley folds that way i'm going to flip it over and i'm going to fold it once on the diagonal so very carefully joining those two dots together and then using my bone fold i'm going to crease all the way down to the to the ends like that okay and once you've got that you just pop that back and it naturally wants to fold into that sort of square squared off shape so let me show you again so you folded it in half that way, turned it, fold in half that way, turned it over and fold it on the diagonal, open it out, pop that in the middle and from underneath, pop that up and it just wants to naturally fold like that. So you've got that going on and lay it down and using your bone folder, just line it all up and sharpen up those creases. Okay, so now's the time um, when I need to stamp a message. So they did want a little message on there, but plenty of space for teachers to write. So I'm just going to stamp that message there. Now I'm going to make sure I do it onto one of the full squares rather than one of these this is they're folded so i'm going to use that full square so i'm taking my archival ink pad and my stamp just going to load the stamp up try and get that to lie flat and then line it up i want it in this corner like that so there's room above and below to right because there is in the nursery there are um four four staff in the room and then you've got the deputy and the and the manager as well so um and they all 
sign all the cards so i've got my stamp done let's pop that to one side and i'm going to get like a little um like i did with the other one a little sort of production line going like a factory production line going then i'm gonna i've got a, a piece of card which is 10 centimeters by um just under five centimeters and i'm going to pop that on there but before i do that i've already put some red liner tape on the back i'm going to bring in my circle punch and i'm just going to put a little thumb um catch there like that so that it's so that when you put your um when they put their tokens in and it just catches there so it's nice and easy to put those little tokens or vouchers or whatever it is that they've got so that's going to go now in this other corner so i'm just going to take the red lining tape off like i say i'm going to get a production line going like i did with the hats i've still got a few more of those to do um but i've got another um week two weeks i think to their graduation ceremony so i'm just going to pop that in the corner whoops with my red lining tape on two one two three sides so along the bottom opposite to where that thumb thing is and then the two short edges so i'm going to line it up with that corner like that and then oops and then lay it down trying to keep to that edge like that make sure i can still fold over the paper like that now i've also got a little sentiment which i've already mounted onto gold um mirror card so i'll pop that on as well so that says shoot for the moon even if you miss you'll land amongst the stars so and then that one's there couldn't be anyone nicer than you which i thought was very fitting for nursery and the <coughs> nursery teachers advice because i've taken that one up and just shared with them what i came up with and they were very pleased with it so um hopefully the children and the families will be as well so i'm just going to pop that in that corner like that now sometimes they do curl up a little bit so um, just being very careful that that they don't this one did um, and I had to put something heavy on it so I'm hoping that one doesn't I've been a bit more sparing with the glue okay so that's the inside of the card done so I'm going to fold that back over like that and now I'm going to bring in two pieces of 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter squares so one's for the front and one's for the back let me get my glue again just going to go all the way around with the glue um, and these you know families teachers children themselves may keep these so i want to make sure that you know things aren't going to fall apart um, which is why i've used wet glue and red lining tape because i have I don't know about you guys but i've sometimes used the regular double-sided tape you know the sort of stuff i mean this sort of stuff and then you know sometime down the line um the red lining tape has i don't know whether it's the damp or whether it's dried out um but yeah it's just all fell apart so um that's why i kind of drift more towards things like wet glue now because they seem to apart from anything else you've got some wriggle room but if they are things that, that families or children or you know whoever might want to keep then um you know they're going to hopefully last a little bit a little bit longer Oops. so i'm just lining that all up like that <clears throat> use my bone folder just to spread all that glue around and make sure it's got contact with all of the paper like that now i'm just going to double check which is my front so it opens like that so this is my front and the last piece then is to use so i've already created a um a tassel 
um, and if you're not sure how to make that go back and check my uh, graduation gift box video which um, which I uploaded just before this one so there we go I'm going to have to cut that down a little bit aren't I a bit premature taking the backing off that so I'm gonna they hang over I had a look I went and checked they hang over the edge because otherwise I think I'd have probably put it like that but um, they hang over the edge so I do need to check where the middle is grab my scissors and then cut this about there so that should be long enough for the tassel to hang over the edge but not too long I'm <coughs> sorry too long that it looks uh, that it's flapping about so pop those back on there like that pop that in the middle and make sure that it's got contact double-sided I may actually thinking about it I may use a little bit of glue on the the rest of them and um, just to make sure that that stays on there and there you have it my um, graduation pocket card so I hope you like it I, I'm really pleased actually with how they've all worked out and I think that because they're about the same size as the boxes um, I think they're going to work really well together so yeah so I hope you liked it and um, yeah wish me luck because I've got another 30 I think 28 30 of these to make um, and another um, few of the boxes to make as well so okay guys I'll speak to you all in the next video Bye for now.